延续拓展。人民海军走过的七十二年历程中，孕育形成了海。The Yaj-83 is a Chinese subsonic anti-ship cruise missile. It is manufactured by the China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation Third Academy. The Yaj-83 uses microprocessors and a strap-down inertial reference unit. These are more compact than the equivalent electronics used in the Yaj-8 and the Xpot C-802, allowing the Yaj-83 to have a 180 km range at Mach 0.9. The missile is powered by the Chinese CTJ-2 turbojet and carries 190 kg high explosive fragmentation warhead. Terminal guidance is by an active radar. The air-launched YJ-83K has a range of 180 km, a cruise speed of Mach 0.9, and a 165 kg high explosive, semi-armor-piercing warhead. The improved YJ-83KH uses a imaging infrared seeker and has a range of 230 km. Reportedly, it may receive course corrections by remote link. The Yaj-83 entered service with the People's Liberation Army Navy in 1998-1999, equipping large numbers of its surface warships. The Yaj-83K is the standard anti-ship missile carried by the People's Liberation Army Naval Air Force. The United States reported the usage in 2014. The People's Liberation Army Air Force was using the Yaj-83K by February 2020. On the 14th of July 2006, during the 2006 Lebanon War, Hezbollah fired two Chinese-built C-802 missiles with upgraded Iranian radar seekers. The first hit a Cambodian flagged Egyptian freighter 60 kilometers offshore. The other hit the Israeli Navy's Sa-5 class corvette in Zhanit, which was patrolling 8.5 nanometers offshore of Beirut. The missile hit the corvette's and stealthy crane near the rear helicopter pad. The explosion holed the pad, set fire to fuel storage, and killed four crew members. The fire was extinguished after four hours, and Hanet returned to Ashdod under its own power for three weeks of repairs. The Corvette's automatic anti-missile systems were deactivated before the attack. Israel was unaware that Hezbollah had C-802s, and there were concerns over friendly fire with the Israeli air force. On the 9th of October 2016, the United States Navy guided missile destroyer USS Mason reported being under attack in the Red Sea by cruise missiles fired from territory in Yemen controlled by the Houthi group. The missiles appeared similar to one fired from Yemen a week earlier that damaged HSV2 Swift, a leased transport ship under the control of the United Arab Emirates, who are supporting the Yemeni government in a civil war against the Houthis. Analysis of the damage caused by that missile led experts to believe it was AC802. None of the missiles fired at USS Mason hit their targets. U.S. authorities claimed that defensive countermeasures were used, including firing defensive missiles.